Hey everybody, Skyrolink here. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, holy macaroni, we did a lot of side questing. We got some tools upgraded, like look at our shiny new bow. Um, we got a lot of gratitude crystals. We got a bunch of rewards. It's like insane. We, we can hold up to 5,000 rupees now, I believe. 5,900, right? Yeah. We got pieces of heart. We got 17 heart containers right now. I almost just shot you in the face. And this time, we're gonna be heading down to Elden Volcano to hunt for the last trial for the last sacred flame that we need to find. But first things first, we're gonna take care of a couple little side things. First things first, uh, the first thing on our list is actually involving our little friend, Mr. Beetle. As I spin around up here. And we're not gonna get dropped by him yet. Because I want to do something real quick. I want to sleep. I'm going to sleep until night. Go, go sleep on that hard metal bed. Because if we do that, we'll end up on this island over here. Hey, close to where we got to go. We've been to this island before. Uh, excuse me. We've been to this island before, but we didn't really have a... Didn't really mention a purpose for it, but, you know, this is the purpose. You're going to want to remember that you can even do this for two reasons. One, we can talk to Beetle. Uh, sir. Oh, oh wait, you for the young slug of Ben, hmm? You appear to be relishing that snooze, so I decline to wait you. But I will say, old bug, you did make the shop a mite heavier. Hee <laughs> hee. Your accent. Hmm, the mo- the, the mo- the mellifluous timber timbre of my voice sounds different to you. Perhaps a touch, I suppose. Pray, what is the matter? Hmm? This is my humble home of sorts. When night draws the, her tenor brows curtain across the sky, I come here. A bit lacking in creature comfort, to be sure. I can relax in peace. You're aware that loft wings don't fly at night, I'm sure. So I suppose I shall have to take you back to town with me on the morrow. Hmm. When you wish to go back to Skyloft, just chase your dreams on the bed once more, and on the on the morrow, you shall be there. Which, this means that, uh, one, there's a bug, and two, um, that Beetle's accent, like, was like, oh, thank you! Kind of a little bit exaggerated. It's a nice little side of him. Anyway, the main reason I wanted to come here was because, one, I wanted to show that, and two, if you look over here, there's a stray gratitude crystal for us. There's also some fireflies that we can we can go ahead and grab. Yeah, that's all there really is to this. Nothing too crazy. I don't think there's anything I can really long shot to. Or claw shot to, can I? As far as I'm aware, no. Uh, is there anything maybe I can climb up here? There is a goddess chest that will be available soon. So again, another reason to remember this place. For the future, ladies and gentlemen. For the future. Future. Anyway, I shall return to Skyloft on the morrow. And just for shits and giggles. Oh! 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 Please wait a moment! You slept on my bed and not even purchased anything? God, screw you, Link! To your doom, you go! Oh. Holy crap, you almost sent me to my doom for that one. Uh, I mean, I nearly missed the bricks, but I nearly fell down 10 extra feet. Whatever. I don't know, we can, we can calculate this by figuring out how tall Link is. I don't know, let's say he's like 5'9". Holy crap, he almost dropped me an extra six feet. That's besides the point. All right. I know what you're thinking. Elden Volcano must be next. Well, yes, but actually no. We're going to take a quick pit stop. Uh, a certain place I like to call the Lumpy Pumpkin. So yeah. Next little thing that I want to take care of is right over there. So I'll catch you guys over at the Lumpy Pumpkin. 
Aha, landed right by the door. Anyway, we're back here for not to help pump or Kina. It's just the simple fact that, you know, I want to go to bed. On these jack o' lantern bed sheets. Anyway, this is because. Why ain't that nice and shiny? Actually, wow, we actually never got to see the new chandelier. Huh. Nice detail. Hey, Link, what do you think of this new chandelier? Let me tell you, this beauty set me back quite a bit. You think I spent too much on it? Don't be a wet blanket. It's thanks to your hard work that I was able to buy such a star of a chandelier, so don't break it. Anyway, what can I do for you? you want work? Nah, I don't want to play the harp. Oh, don't you forget to stop and say hello to Kina now, you hear? Whoa, Pump, are you trying to ship me with Kina? I don't know, man. It's getting kind of wild. Does Kina say anything? Now that the pumpkins have been harvested, the field needs to be plowed before we can plant new seeds. I can only find someone who was good at plowing. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, you probably saw when the chandelier happened. Just a stray gratitude crystal. There's only one more stray to find. And where's the stray, you may ask? Well, I'm quite glad you asked. You asked, like, too many questions. So stop bothering me, see? I'm kidding, nah. The last Stray Gratitude Crystal, and the 15th and final one, because we found 12 last time. Man, I really went the long way. Man, I, I really did go the long way. Holy crap. It's, uh... Did I just loop around like an idiot? Oh my god, I totally did. It's, uh, right down here. Right by the pumpkins. So this is the last Gradsu crystal that is just laying out and about. We got them all. No. Give me that. I ain't gonna say no to free bugs. Alright, let's climb up into the estate. Into their warm and snuggly, cuddly bed. Pump and Kina sleep on these things, but we never see them sleep. I don't have the heart to sleep on Kina's bed, so I'm gonna sleep on Pumps instead. He's gonna sleep on the chandelier, since he loves it so much. Alright, well, with that, that is everything related- well, no, never mind. I was gonna say that's everything related to the Lumpy Pumpkin, but there is one more thing that is of importance later on in the future. We'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah. I do not need tutorials on how to skydive, no. Our next destination is going to be over here. Because I, I was going to save this for whenever we went to... When we finally went to Elden Volcano, you know? And that time has finally come. Come on, Master Oogly. That time has come. Oh, God. I don't know if I told the story, but... For my senior trip, we went to see... Uh, um, we went to the theater to the movies and uh, I saw it we weren't able to get everyone all not all my friends managed to like get in the same theater but I was with my friends uh, Luis Connor Blake uh, Earl Jay and I don't think the I don't think Diego was there unfortunately but uh, we saw Kung Fu Panda and we treated it like it was like a freaking like it was an event like freaking the Avengers Endgame that was the Avengers Endgame for us, dude. We cheered. Our group started the cheering. Like, we were like, what if we make this like Avengers? And so, like, when Master Uwe, like, died, we all clapped. Because, like, out of respect. Not, like, out of, ha he's dead. It, it was, like, nice. And then we kept on doing it. But it was, like, the, it was, like, the best thing ever. Like, that made the trip, like, ten times better. Like, not that saying, like, Kung Fu Panda was a bad thing. Uh, ooh. I think we finally actually get to make this puddle of water useful. I think we're going to want to head under. Um, but it was just funny that we got to do that. So, that that's something I'll always cherish. Let's 
great. Hey, I got the heart medal. Hearts will appear more often as long as you're carrying this. If you're worried about running out of hearts while you're out, out adventuring, keep this with you. The pouch is full. Yeah, I know. I know my pouch is full. Oh, hey, there's a fairy. We want your free fairies. But yeah, I'll always remember that. It's great. It's a great time. My senior year was awesome. Like everyone says, oh, high school, middle school was sucky. And I mean, yeah, there are some rough patches to it. I'm not saying it was perfect. I had a great time. This was in my class. My class had the rough of it, bro. We freaking had to do COVID happen while I was in my sophomore year. I had to do my entire last quarter of my sophomore year and all of my freaking junior year at home. So I had to do like SATs testing and preparing for college and all that stuff. Or start preparing for college, I should say. Which, uh, you know, is not always the easiest thing to do. I've got something to save related to college, but I think I might save that for a little bit later. Anyway, I don't think there's a place that's nearby that we can really go. I think... Uh, what would be the best place to go? I think the Volcano Ascent is probably the closest we can get. Actually, actually might be good. We have arrived at Elden Volcano. You can use your dowsing ability to locate the gate of the to the trial. You must pass this trial in order to locate the sacred flame. Thanks, Pai. Where is it? Oh, I'm right next to it. Wow. I forget sometimes where it is. Alright, well, the college thing I want to talk about, we'll either save, we'll save that for the next episode, or... Maybe while I'm doing this silent room. Wait, what am I, what am I doing? I got strum. Strum the harp. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to a new Silent Realm. I gotta say, the theme. I may not be a fan of the Din, Din's power song, whatever, but like, definitely feels like a volcano, you know? Which, I mean, that's what they were going for. It is the goddess of fire. <laughs> Bam! Master Link, you stand within Din's Silent Realm, the third trial. It will test the limits of your power. So look at the last flame that will enhance your sword. You must first complete this final challenge and achieve spiritual growth once again. You got the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, Link. When your vessel is full, your spirit will grow and you will be entrusted with a new power by the goddess. Do you have any questions? No! Understood, Master. Master, I await your return in the outside world. Welcome to Den's Silent Realm, which is, I think, maybe the hardest. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think for a second, just kind of scout the scene, you know, see what we're dealing with. I think I'm going to want to go for that. That one over there. That spirit vessel. <laughs> or spirit tier. Din's tier. Tier of Din. The object's power halts the movement of the guardians for 90 seconds. Yeah. Thank you. Um, alright. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. I think I'm gonna go... 
I think I'm gonna go grab the ones by the ramp, by the slopes first, because those ones I always, they always make me nervous. I feel like, you know, let's get the hard ones out the way, you know? Catch my drift. And I don't think we really need, I don't think we really need dust relics at this point anymore. I think we're pretty good on like materials in general for the most part. But uh, you know. Ah shit! You see what I mean? If anything, actually, this will make my life easier because then I don't have to worry about those guys. There should be a tear around here somewhere, so I'm not too entirely worried. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, uh, give me this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, you're nasty. No. No. Get me, son of a bitch. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Uh, okay, okay. It's fine, it's cool, he's coming for me. We're gonna give him a second. We're gonna jupe his ass. Uh, let me up, let me up, let me up. Let me up, hurry, hurry. Blake, get your fat butt off the ground. Ooh, okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine, oh. Ooh. At least I got that out the way. <laughs> I don't have to go down there anymore. Ugh. Oh. oh my god. Wait. Is there, is there nothing up here? Okay. Fine. Fine, that's... that's okay. I got the worst of it out the way. Alright, I'm gonna be patient here. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> Go down here. All right, all right. I can breathe a little. The worst of it is over. Gosh, Din is ruthless. All right, so that takes care of that. I better hurry up and get myself a. Uh, um, I'm gonna grab you real quick. You're kind of a little bit out of the way. So I can at least refresh the timer and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Nothing down. Well, hold on. Is there anything down there? Um, I loop over. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the second slope now, which isn't as bad. But I do remember it kind of giving me some uh, trouble. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's let's got the scene. See what we got here. Got some waking water right down there. That's no good. I believe if we touch the flames, that's a no-go. See, normally we would be burned into a crisp, but because we're, we're ghosts, it all it all works out here. Uh, I was going to say, be careful of the waking water. Uh, oh, oh, we're going to be being... We're going to be careful, all right. Uh, I think I'm going to want to go over here. Okay, there's... I think we're gonna have to go up here multiple times, so we can make this good. I think we're fine. They can't stop all of us, even though I I hear them. I see you. Um, ooh. Uh I could be risky. I could I could try to run up there and get it. Nope, bad idea. Bad idea. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Wait, I can fix it. I fixed it, guys. I fixed it. I did it. And look at me getting a little risky with my Silent Realms. Okay, I think the worst is over. Possibly. I'll double check. If I missed anything up there, I'll have to go back for it. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, actually. Um, I'm gonna be smart. I'm actually gonna save this one for last. If I have to grab it later, I'll grab it, but just in case I somehow screw things up, because I think it's a little bit scary over there. But, uh, just in case, uh, things go wrong, I'm getting, I could, uh, I could adjust. Um, 
gonna I'm gonna run over next time it crosses. I'm gonna run over and okay, take care of that. Grab you. That refreshes the timer. I could get a better luck. Did I miss anything? No. Despite being a little bit of a risk taker, I, I think we actually... I think we actually came out of this on top. I think we got this in the bag. I'm proud to say that. I remember, not anyone could just be proud to say such a thing. I'm gonna go over here. Hop down here. Grab you. Let me see. Uh, I could have hopped down and just made my way around, but, you know, I gotta... Well, I still can. I just gotta grab this. Alright. Let's kind of rearrange this a little bit. Like, climb up a little bit, grab you. Go, uh, go a little different way, but you know what, it's fine. That's how the pioneers did it. I still get over here anyway, so it's all good. It all works out. Uh, there's a tier right here. Uh, let's see. There's one over at the start still. And okay, no, it's right there. Okay, I thought I was going to say, I'm like, if it's up on the mountain, I'm going to be a little bit upset. I'm going to be a little bit fiddled. A little bit Quandale dingled. But, you know... <laughs> uh, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I think we, we're pretty much in the clear at this point. Uh, I think a uh, dust relic would usually spawn on there, but... Not this time. Just got to balance myself on this rope. <laughs> myself. I almost fell in the lava. That would have been bad. I could have jumped down on the platform and be a little, like, be a little risky, risky, uh, risky uh, banana, but, uh, you know, we don't, we don't swing that way, being risky bananas. So that's just not how we roll. Alright, let's see here. Can't go back that way, so I have to go over. Actually, no. I have to go back that way. What am I saying? What am I saying? What is a silly goose like me saying? Well, I have to go a long way. This is what the strategy was for, guys. I'm gonna wait for you. To move on by Ooh. A risky. But got that. Got you. And now we can just simply run across. Grab you. Over here. Climb up the vine. A little hop and a skip over here. Collected every last tier of Din. Link's spirit has grown. The trial will continue until you exit the Silent Realm. Proceed with caution on your way back to the entrance so that you can claim proof of your spiritual growth. Well, that takes care of that. I'm proud of us. That went off without much of an issue. I mean, I almost lost, but, you know, it's fine. It's good. All is well in the world. Got the Fire Shield Earrings. With these, you can stand any heat without a sweat. This is one of the three sacred gifts left by the goddess. Oh. Buddy. 
Welcome back, bastard. I conjecture your newly acquired fire shield, fire shield earrings will allow you to safely travel in extremely high areas. I recommend continuing your search for the, for the sacred flame. All right, look at us. Look at us, looking spiffy. All right, uh, I'm gonna return to the sky because I know exactly where we gotta use these bad boys, but I don't feel like walking because I'm a lazy lizard. In fact, you guys probably already know where we gotta use them anyway. But I'm not gonna say it yet because, you know, suspense. Add suspense, you know. Ooh, I got you guys quaking in your boots. I thought about ending the episode here, but I think I'm actually going to continue on a little bit more. Alright. So we're going to move forward. Uh, die, you torch. Yeah, the torches didn't see it coming. Hey, an ornamental score. Give him a little, little one two. Give him the three. Give him the nine of five. I'm just making up new moves on the die. That's just how I roll. That's just how I roll in society. Fire piece. I don't even. I don't even gotta worry. You see, what's cool is that the final gift from the goddess was nothing more than cosmetics. Because now our earrings went from blue to eye. Blue to eye? No, blue to red. Anyway, uh... Is there anything from before? Nah, that's just what we climbed before. I don't know why I thought something new was here. Hey, dick spots! Buddy, old pal, dick spots. Oh, how I love thee. The poop beetle. Right. What was I gonna do, shoot the poop beetle? I probably would have. Would you have shot the poop beetle? Look at us. Our earrings glow red, and now we are impervious to the flames. I mean, if we touch them, we're gonna die a horrible death, but, uh, you know, we can at least walk. And hey, we can move forward now. I have a status update for you, Master. We are now near the crater at the peak of Elden Volcano. I'm detecting extremely high temperatures in this area. However, your fire shield earrings will allow you to extend will allow for extended periods of exploration. I calculate the probability of finding the final sacred flame here at 90%. I've been searching for flames. How lovely. I love it. Oh, geez. It was scary. Oh, God. Fire slimes. Oh. Fiery choo choos. I'm actually terrified out of my mind right now. You guys can't see it though. And oh gee, oh geez, get out the way. Uh, that was just a source of panic. It was a misinput. Uh, there's a goddess cube over there that we can't mess with. So I'm just gonna shoot you in the, excuse me, I said I'm just gonna shoot you guys in the face. So I got nothing better to do. Uh, this we can't do anything about until later. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. Uh, we do have a, uh, bird statue that we can check. Man, look at us. Look at us. Look at us making all this progress. Gonna climb up here. Gonna hop down. Doesn't seem to be anything in particular over here. There's nothing we can do about that up there anyway. You, gonna shoot you. Gonna slice you in half. Gonna slice you. Nothing really over here that we can deal with at the moment. 
And pop over here, give it a little, little skip and a shake. Gonna kill you. Then we got, uh, over here we got some stuff. Where do you lead? Oh, you're the way to go. Okay, hold on. Yikes, get away from me. Uh, we'll save that for next time. I didn't want to get too deep into this. I just kind of wanted to start exploring. But yeah, poor Elden Volcano gets destroyed on the stink. It's a... Oh, wow. We got a brand new area. The summit. Congratulations. You get one room. Uh, that's sad. By the way, out here... Um, let's see. How did I want to do this? I'm trying to remember how this went. Well, we got this. Got that water there. We'll want to remember that. Uh, I'm gonna dive down. Oh. It's a good thing I remember. Yes, there is a lone goddess cube out here. I just wanted to grab that. So now we gotta claw shot our way out. Excuse me, fine, let me climb the vines a little bit and then claw shot my way out. I'm so sorry that I could not meet your expectations, vines. My apologies, I just didn't, I just didn't think I needed your approval, but lo and behold, I did. Oh, how I sullied the name. You know what? I don't even need this potion, but we are going to need a bottle of water soon. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, oh, flies. I call them flies. Oh, shoot. Get out of here. Uh, let me take a guess with all these blessed butterflies. Uh, ah. Chica Stone. Boyoing. Thanks for the jelly blob, bud. That and there's an amber relic, but who cares about that? Who cares about amber relics? Amber relics of the past. We don't even need those. How many do I even have right now? Twenty. You, you see what I mean? It's my stamina. We'll run out slowly. Nah, I'm just gonna head to the to the god, goddess statue. I'll kill everything. I'll kill everything again, though. Oh god, they're multiplying. They're expanding in size. All right. Well, I'd say we made some pretty good progress. We got. Excuse me. We got ourselves some uh, little stray gratitude crystals. We uh, finished off the final trial from the goddess and got ourselves the fire shield earrings, which allowed us to enter the volcano summit. That being said, next time in the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're gonna go over to that corridor I entered that I didn't really mean to. I don't know why I thought that was the way forward. I don't know, I keep forgetting stuff. My memory's a little hazy. We'll head through there and continue exploring what the summit has to offer. See you guys then.